श्याम सुंदर राध श्याम सुंदर राधे जय राधा बिनो बिहारी राधा बिनो बिहारी राधे
that I wrote for Gurudev in January, so he's giving me a chance to share it with everyone now. And it's called A Tear at Your Lotus Feet. And in 96, when Gurudev was, after his first tour in the West and he was leaving America, a few of us got to sit in the lounge with him at JFK for a long time, just a couple of us. And Gopanandini was there, and all of a sudden she started crying a little bit. So Gurudev looked at her and he said, Yes, every day I want from you one tear, one tear. So, O oh great Acharya of our Gaudiya line, O oh dedicated sadak immersed in bhajan, O oh sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Seeing the fallen Westerners showing some glimmer of interest, you open the doors of your heart. Mercy flowing fast like the Ganga and softly like the Jamuna comes pouring out, overwhelming all with an astonishing joy. We never heard these sweet things before. Sadhu, sadhu, how wonderful. I want to hear more. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Dedicated to helping the fall, very fallen, you give your life's breath and more. Come on, come on, take the holy name. Eat less, sleep less, talk less, chant more. Don't worry for your maintenance. Set your goal and not be touched in chirat. Nitae, go dae, 
Srimati Radhika's Palyadasis. We want nothing less. This is the highest, the very highest. I have so many fruits in my basket. Who will take? Who will take? You can't imagine what I'm trying to give you, but you're not taking. What? You want me to give you poison? I can never do that. Krishna, hey, Radhe, hey. Krishna, hey, Radhe, hey. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Kartik Vrata, every year more wonderful, more exciting. In a rocket ship of transcendental sound vibration, your Hari Kata and sweet Kirtans, we burst through the seven coverings of the material universe, zoom past Vaikuntha, and enter the very heart of Golok Vraj. Sri Radha Kund herself, this is Rupa Nuga. Kartik, daily described in Krishna's sweet Vraj Leelas to inspire our dry hearts. Vacho Vegam, Manasakrota Vegam, Tang Nama Rupa Chadi Tadi Sukirtananu. Don't criticize, don't criticize. Guru Goste Gostale Ishu Sujane Busirigane. Trinara Peace Sunichina. More humble than grass, offer all respect to others. We must become like the Goswamis. Give up your desires, serve the Vaishnavas. All these treasures you have placed in our praying Samput. O oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. <laughs> now, coming in a line of lions, you are also Prabhupada, fearlessly establishing our siddhantas. Astakalya Lila does not belong to the Hasahajis. It is our property. Vikriditam Vrajavadubiri Damchavishna. We must hear about Krishna and the gopis. Don't jump, don't jump. Sakrata Vegam, spreading the truth throughout Vraj, Parakya Ras, Radha and Krishna were never married. Krishna was born in Gokula, not Mathura, setting the local people straight. <laughs> Srila Saraswati Thakur asked his father, Can I publish Gita Govinda? Yes, one copy for yourself. <laughs> but you, Gurudev, confidently keeping the pure Gaudiya line alive, so bold that you publish Pujari Goswami's Gita Govinda, and then translated into English, even though no one is qualified. Adi Ras Sringaras, this is pure love. You can't understand what Mahabhav is, but still, I will tell you something about it. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Looking out for your children's welfare, you cleverly and fearlessly expose the dangerous crocodiles lurking under the water. Prophetically, in 2003 in Germany, you told us, if there is no bhakti in the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti, I will leave immediately. We could not imagine at that time. And when they publicly insulted you, still you were a loving father to them. And without a drop of malice in your heart, you visited Devananda Mutt and spoke the confidential beauties of Mahaprabhu's Leela. Always the perfect Vaishnava. Your ignorant babies mistaking hidden hypocrisies for bhakti. Palama Sura entered our midst, stealing away innocent sheep. Forced to banish your dear most to the forest, you wept. Can you bring him back? Can you help him? Beware of Vaishnava Parad. Do you think you can change Guru's words? Never. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet, one tear, one tear. Your sudden illness shaking us into reality, too weak to speak, twisting our hearts deep. Take to this process seriously. You must achieve liberation before I leave. Arjuna saw only the eye of the bird. Don't look here and there. We have come here only for this brudge bhakti. Have no other thought. Give your life to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and quickly go to Golok Vraj. Oh, sweet master of my life, daily at your lotus feet. One, two, one, two. Tasmai Sri 
बंचा कल्पतरु व्यस्त कृपा सिंधु वचन सदिता मावनियो परिश्रमियो नमो महाबजन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम अत्याय गुरवे गौर चंद्राय
If Sukh is there, happiness there for previous life, or oh, it will come automatically. Tat prayaso no kartabhyo. You should not do anything for that. Automatically, all kinds of Sukh will come. And he has given, Krishna has given, Dattatraya has given a example of Python. One, one place he lives, nothing doing any effort. And automatically if comes any animal or anything in front and he and he is satisfied. For so many days, he will not try it. Automatically he is coming? Okay. So a sadhu should be like that. <coughs> Always engaging their senses in Krishna consciousness. What we have seen, teach from Samudra, Osha, 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 Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tada Bhakta, Namo Namah. So one of the 24 Gurus is the ocean. Because in the rainy season, when so much rain comes, and the rivers are swollen, and they flow into the ocean, the ocean never goes up. It remains constant. In the dry season, when the rivers become small, when the rivers become very small, the ocean also does not shrink. In the same way, the ocean is an example of a saintly person who despite the accumulation of great material enjoyment, great facilities, he's never changed. And in the absence of those great facilities, he's also never changed. And last night I was talking with Pran Kishoparu, <laughs> and he was saying, when he first came to Gurudev, there was nothing. All were very poor, and now, at that time, Gurudev were the same, and now, despite so many disciples coming so much wealth, he remains completely unchanged. So, good ever is one example of the ocean. Then, this two is three young. Deva Mayam, Tadabhavai Ajitendriya, Pradobhita Patantandhe, Tasya Agnav Patangubhati. Can you? Can you? You don't remember. One who has failed to control his senses immediately feels attraction upon seeing a woman's form which is created by the illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. Indeed, when the woman speaks with enticing words, smiles coquettishly, and moves her body sensuously, his mind is immediately captured. And thus he falls blindly into the darkness of material existence, just as the moth maddened by the fire rushes blindly into its flames. So here the instruction is given how the moth, Patanga, is one of the gurus. 
because the moth is very attracted by the flame. So the moth comes around the flame. At night, if there's any flame, moths will come. They will circle around, circle around, and then fly into the flame. And the moth is finished. So the conditioned soul in the material world. For man, the form of woman is maya. And also for the woman, man is also maya. And there is such a strong attraction to be with the opposite sex. But because of this very powerful attraction, because of trying to satisfy this attraction, one becomes destroyed. One can become destroyed in so many ways, materially and especially spiritually. And one will forget all about the goal of life, which is to cultivate Krishna consciousness and engage in bhajan. Sannyasin, Brahmachari, and Brahmacharinis also be very careful how that Satinga moth. This is flame, fire. That is Rupa. And at once he attached and goes circling and jumps. What is the meaning? If you will not be careful that ladies are Daivi Maya, especially very beautiful more than lady and gentlemen. Very. And for them, oh, men are so. So you should always be very, very careful. Also, I see that two kinds of Bhardashram, Smartha and Devi, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and others, also Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, try to establish Bhardashram Dharma. So we should be satisfied by if Grihasthi you are, with one lady or one husband. In life, you should not change, divorce, any husband or wife. This is Varnashram What is favorable for us, we should take. And what is unfavorable, we should reject. It will be helpful in our Krishna consciousness. So those <coughs> more more foolish, foolish persons, Kamini Kanchan, Gold and Kamini, Alankar, so many ornaments, ornaments and Naswar. Parishadu, things in this world, they are attached and always they want to test it, they are fully. They should not do. Stokam is Stokam Prasid Kra. So, Pronounce are the sannyasi. Be like bumblebees. They should go to Grihastasram after their supper. 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 And go to so many. They should not be burdened on a Grihastha. And from so many houses, 
little little like bumblebees collects honey <coughs> from so many flowers so sannyasi should be like that he should not be burdened on <coughs> so i learned from madhumakhi bumblebees that a sannyasi should not collect for evening or for next day for one one time only and be satisfied agar if he will <coughs> collects money or anything then what will be <coughs> madhuhari the honey honey collector <coughs> will come and take you like with their house be high and keeps in his cloth and and then takes it don't be like that <coughs> then jyadapi juvati bhikshu nash prasad darvami पदापी युवतीम भिक्षुर न स्पृशत दारवीम अपि स्पृशन करी वेत करिन्यांगली पर्सन शुड नेवर टच अंग गर्ल इन फैक्ट ही शुड नॉट इवन लेट हिज फुट टच ए वुड इन डाल इन द शेप ऑफ अ वुमन बाय बॉडली कॉन्टैक्ट विद अ वुमन ही विल श्योरली बी कैप्चर्ड बाय इल्यूजन just as the elephant is captured by the she elephant due to his desire to touch her body <laughs> yeah there's another verse in pertaining i i will talk but there's one more verse then the next verse goes on to say nadigat chat striyam pragya karhichin mrityam atmanaha baladikai sahanyeta gajair anyar kajoh yatha a man possessing intelligent discrimination should not under any circumstances try to exploit the beautiful form of a woman for his sex gratification just as a, an elephant trying to enjoy a she elephant is killed by other bull elephants also enjoying her company so similarly one trying to enjoy a lady's company can at any moment be killed by her other lovers who are stronger than he ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानंजन शय चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सो दीज एग्जापल्स बीइंग गिवन बाय द अवधूत आर इलस्ट्रेटिंग हाउ द अट्रैक्शन ऑफ द सेंसेस फॉर द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स द अट्रैक्शन टू फॉर्म द अट्रैक्शन टू टेस्ट नाउ द अट्रैक्शन टू टच so in the material world the living entities they are very much attached to these objects of form taste touch smell and so forth uh, but they don't understand that as their senses become attached but become attracted first of all and then they become attached to them then this is the cause of their destruction actually we already saw the, uh, heard the example of the moth because of sight because of sight because of rupa because of form and the and the flickering of the fire it becomes attracted and then it becomes killed so in the same way here is the example being given of an elephant an elephant in the forest is very difficult to capture but at the same time if the hunter knows the process of capturing the elephant very very easy 
and the method that they utilize is they bring one she elephant. So this she elephant is standing at a distance from the male elephant, and what they do is they dig a huge hole and they cover it with some grass. And the elephant, the male elephant, sees the she she elephant, and now he becomes aroused in his desire to touch her. So he goes forward very quickly with uh, no other consideration, and boom, he falls down into the pit. And in this way, he becomes captured. So in the same way, uh, in this material world, because of the attraction to touch, therefore, persons, they think, oh, if I gratify my sense of touch with the opposite sex, oh, this will satisfy me. But actually what happens? They become captured. They become entangled. So many examples are being given here about the attraction between the sexes. Why? Because this is actually the most powerful force in this material world. And it is also the most binding force. Uh, because it creates a knot within the heart. And the conditioned soul identifies very, very strongly with this false and, and actually illusory relationship that they've created. So... Therefore, the Avadut is saying that he's learning from all these different aspects of nature how he can cultivate this detachment. And he's learning from the mistakes of these different living entities, like, like the elephant. He also gave the example that an elephant becomes attracted to another she-elephant. And uh, in order to attain that she-elephant, then he has to fight with the other opposing male elephants. In the same way within this material world, we can read in the newspapers on any day of the week how people are being killed because of lust. One lover becomes attracted to a, another lady and uh, that lady happens to have a husband. She has an illicit relationship and then, then the husband finds out and then he comes and he murders uh, this uh, illicit lover. And innumerable cases like this because of the attraction of lust within this world. So by the sense of touch, especially, someone can be captured. And then the next example is being given. Especially, our sannyasi brahmachari, they should be very careful. It may be like Hathini, Sikhari, elephant. Ladies may come and attract <coughs> and he will fall down, <coughs> get some nerves, everything. And then, by that affection, attachment, he thinks what I have done are okay. No? I have left some nerves, no harm. It is okay, we should be yes. But why Ramanuj, Madhvachar, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadita, and Vishnu Swami generation? Oh, lakhs and lakhs of sannyasi. In our sampradaya, Madhvendra Puribad, Vishwat Puribad, was sannyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. After that, there are so many sannyasis. Prabhupada met Tridanda sannyasis still coming in Ramanu Sampadaya in our Sampadaya. So, <coughs> I renounce is very good. Very good. It will come after that. Now, Try to be Jitendriya, to conquer your senses, especially this tongue. It has no bone. Huh? No back. Not control. She can tell anything to anyone. So we should try to control. If your Rasanandriya, tongue, is controlled, all things will be controlled. Like fishes, 
everywhere in pond, in ocean, in rivers, some fishermen taking bansi in their hands, stick and and they make some place in there and they fed it. So by test, this is not in control. She at once jumps and takes it. And what becomes? They try to roll, <laughs> coming and again living. And after some time, she is tired and she takes and cooks. <laughs> so we should try to control our this time. Don't you see anything which is wrong? Always control. Part way God. If your part way is controlled, that is Then there will be no offense of Vaishnava, Nam, Nama Parat or anything. Then, <coughs> oh, he telling Pinga Nam Vishya. In ancient call, ancient time, in Videh Nagari, where Raja Janak Videh used to be, and there was a prostitute, Shamraj. Om Jnanam Timarandasya Jnanam Jnana Salakaya Jaksarun Litam Yena Tasma Sri Gurave Nama Shula Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the next of the 24 gurus of Shiksha Gurus as of Avadut Dattatreya and he's telling King Yadu that Pingala Vesh, Pingala Prostitute is another of my gurus. So I'll read the verse. O best among men, the king, this prostitute was very anxious to get money, and she stood on the street at night, and as she did so, she studied all the men who were passing by, thinking, Oh, this one will surely have money. I know he can pay the price, and I'm sure he would enjoy my company very much. <laughs> Thus, she thought about all the men in the street. But one man came and went by her as though she wasn't there. And then another, and in order to attract them, seeing that they were going by her, she would take very beautiful poses in different ways, and nothing was working. So gradually, she became so unhappy at her failures that within her heart some detachment started manifesting. Failure is the pillar of success. Our Srila Prabhupada in his books used to quote Pingala prostitute as the example. Then as the detachment came in her heart she started remembering the Supreme Personality of Godhead and she said to herself, just see how greatly illusioned I am. I cannot control my mind. Just like a fool, I desire to enjoy the pleasures of insignificant men. Lakshmi also, in the sixth canto, she is teaching that what is the use of a husband who's made of a bag of skin and pus and just some hair sticking out of that piece of skin. One should accept only the Supreme Personality of Godhead as his husband. <laughs> then she begins condemning herself. We girls have to stick together. <laughs> then she says, how uselessly I've tortured my soul. I have sold my body to look greedy men who themselves are objects of pity.
in the second ver in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, when Arjuna is complaining to Krishna, "Why are you asking me to fight in this war? So many bad things will happen. Women and girls are protected by their husbands and their fathers, elders, and if their husbands and elders die in the war, then they'll be subjected." to the prey, to be the prey of unscrupulous men. And there in the purport, our Srila Prabhupada says that uh, unintelligent women become subject to the exploitation of unscrupulous men. So as our Prabhupada used to say, man is good, woman is good, you put them together and it's bad. <laughs> then she continues, Thus practicing the most abominable profession of a prostitute, I hope to get money and sense pleasure. Certainly in this city of Adeha, now she's manifesting some very good qualities, like Srila Naratam Das Thakur, that I haven't worshipped Lord Gora, I've accepted valueless things as valuable, and valuable things like Gora Prem and Gora Kirtan as valueless. Instead of hearing the Harikata of saintly persons, I listen to the prajalpa, criticism, and useless talks of materialistic persons. I've wasted my life. What is the use of such life? I might as well have died rather than to maintain this useless body. Similarly, she's now coming to that conclusion. Certainly in the city of Adeya, I am the most foolish. This is the qualification of a devotee to get mercy. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Patita Pavan. And I am the most petite, I am the most fallen, therefore my claim is first. In our song, Sri Guru Charana Padma, the last line, Ebe Yash Gushu Tribhuvana, your glories are spread all over the three worlds. Srila Gurudev gave a very deep further meaning of this, that I am so fallen, nobody could save me, I'm so unqualified. If you'll deliver me, then you'll become famous all over the three worlds as the most savior of the most fallen. Then she comes to accept the glory and she's developing affection for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I neglect it by lamenting. Lamentation is purification as our acharyas teach us. I neglected the Supreme Personality of Godhead who awards us everything, even our original spiritual form. And instead, I desire to enjoy sense gratification with many men. Men provide sense gratification for women, but all these men and even the demigods in heaven have a beginning and an end. They are all temporary creations who will be dragged away by time. Therefore, how much actual pleasure or happiness can any of them give their wives? There's no difference between the sex pleasure in heaven, on earth, and in the animal kingdom. In 1969 in Boston, our Srila Prabhupada told the story of one man who was very lusty, even though he was married to a very chaste, wonderful, submissive wife. And he desired a very expensive prostitute. So knowing about this, that chaste wife went to the prostitute's house when she wasn't home, and she began cleaning. So the prostitute returned and said, what are you doing? And she said, I want the opportunity for my husband to enjoy you. So she said, you don't realize how expensive I am. Finally, the lady worked for her until she became a prostitute, made so much money, and gave that money to her husband. And her husband went to the prostitute. So that prostitute already knew who that man was and liked his wife very much. So generally in a prostitute's house, they first serve a dinner, very tasteful dinner to the man and then they engage in their business. So she served him the same food in a brass pot and the same food in a golden pot. And he said, what is this? She said, just taste it and tell me what you think. So he said, tasted it and he said, well, they, it tastes exactly the same. Why did you put it in the two pots? So she said, you are such a rascal that you think that sense gratification is the same, is different in me and in your wife, when the taste is actually the same. And then our Prabhupada said the taste is the same in heaven, on earth, and in hell. So because of this pingala prostitute's frustration that turned into detachment, which 
later on turned into affection for the Lord and concluded that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the only source of love and happiness. A sadhak should always remember this thing a lot is true. Asahi paramam dukham, nairasyam paramam sukham, jas santhit gitaan tasa, sukham susva pindala. Select his all worldly desire <coughs> and begin to think that, oh, Krishna is very nearest in heart. I have not tried to please him, <coughs> but these persons who will die one day, what happiness they have given to me? Nothing. <coughs> they have fired my body in fire. I became of them and lost everything. Anyhow, by the mercy of Krishna, I have now Vairasyam, Vairagya. And this Vairagya will take me to Krishna. So he left his <coughs> door, went to sleep, and very well slept, and she became afterward a good devotee. <coughs> so we should always remember this history and try to be very careful. What Avadhu Dattatreya has told, and Krishna again he has told to Uddha. Why he has told? Oh. You have to detach from this world. No Asakti. And give your whole heart, all of heart, everything is Krishna. Life is short. But Arthadam, oh, it can give from Artha, even Dasha Pradika, highest, it can give. Only we can. And we don't know when it will go, when death will come. So, with whole effort and energy. We should give to Krishna consciousness. That Sudevi. One question. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Pitya, Patrama.
Shankar Nandan Prabhu. Because Brajanandan forward. Please come forward. Brajanandan Prabhu. Come. Come up, Prabhu. You should then stand up. I'm very happy that uh, this is cool for ch children traveling here and there. Amo Prabhu has kindly donated a mini car. For children, teachers, all can travel here and there <laughs> 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 children from all over the world should come and it should be ideal school. I think it is still ideal. Hare Krishna. So, some devotee has requested initiation, although the initiation done yesterday and fire sacrifice will take place tomorrow 9 a.m. headed by Sripa Damodar Maharaj. So some devotee has requested for initiation, it will take place tomorrow just before 9 a.m. in the Bhajan Kuti of Srila Gurudev. So whoever desires for initiation, they have to come there before 9 a.m. Krishna Das? Yeah. 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 Drama, drama. Yeah, drama. After that, Hare Krishna Rama, the drama player, be ready for drama. Jajaradharaman Haribo. Jajaradharaman Haribo.